Hello, everybody. Hi. How's it going? You ready to get started? Give me like a few more seconds. Last, get the last few in here. All right. Hopefully, you guys all had a good weekend. We'll get some work in today. All right. All right. We're going to go ahead and start standing today. So, um, since looks like some of you guys are already standing, some of you guys are seated, but we are going to start standing. And I want you guys to make sure that you find a quiet place in your home, some place where there is little to no distraction. I know that can be hard when you're at home, but just trying to really, really minimize what's going on around you and that distraction. Okay. So we're going to get warmed up with some classical sun salutes and we will get going. All right, let's do it. We'll come to the top of your yoga mat. Bring your hands to heart center. Bring your big toes to touch. Your heels are just a sliver apart. Lift up all 10 toes, spread them apart, and then glue them back down. Start to press down into all four corners of your feet equally. Starting to engage from the floor up, the calves, the hamstrings, the quads, the glutes by tucking your tail down towards your heels, pulling in the lower abdominals, navel in towards your spine. Then if you notice your ribs are popping out, tuck in the ribs. Take the shoulders away from the ears, actively drawing them towards the floor, and then firmly pressing the palms together, thumbs to the center of your chest. Take a deep inhale, grow really tall through the crown of your head. You're standing strong like a statue. I want you to feel so grounded that if somebody were to come over and gently push or push you or nudge you, you wouldn't move because you're so strong, you're so grounded, all your muscles are engaged. Really strong on the outside and soft, breathing gently on the inside. One more deep breath here, filling all the way up into your belly and your lungs. And slow exhale, let it go. Good, here we go. Inhale, arms forward and up. Reach towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at the hips, fingertips down, you're gonna step your right foot all the way back, send it far back as far as you can. I know we do this movement a lot in here, but as soccer players, this is what's gonna get you to open up your stride when you're running down the field. So instead of short choppy little legs, you wanna be able to run like a cheetah or a gazelle. If you notice when they run, their legs and their front arms or all four of their legs are basically parallel to the ground when they're leaping. So it's really important to get these legs opened up so that when you run, you can cover as much ground as you can. Hopefully that makes sense. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, bend your knees. Let's go ahead and pedal this out here. We're gonna go through this first one slow. And then finding stillness, bend your knees, drive your tailbone up, back is flat. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra, lift the knees. Remember, you're not using your hands to lift you up. Gaze is down. Knees are lifted. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Left foot steps all the way through. Make sure you get that heel in alignment with your wrists. Take a deep inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. 
One more deep breath. And exhale, step all the way to the top of your mat, forward fold. Pull your forehead to your knees, bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, arms come out and up. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Try to stay breath to movement with me. Exhale, forward fold. This time your left foot goes back, knee down. Inhale, lifting the chest. Exhale, let the head become heavy. You can tuck or untuck the back toe. It's your choice. Notice how it feels either way. Do what's right for your body. We're all going to be in a different place. We're all going to do things differently. So listen to your body. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the head. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot goes all the way forward. Deep inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, let the head become heavy. One more deep breath here. And exhale, forward fold, stepping all the way up. Forehead to shin. So bend your knees as much as you need to and then pull your forehead in. Inhale, arms straight forward and up. Exhale, heart center. Now we're going to flow. So this is breath to movement. Stay with me. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold, right leg back, knee down. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, pull the elbows together. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps all the way through, deep inhale. Exhale, all the way forward, forward fold. Inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold, left foot steps all the way back. Deep inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps forward, deep inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, right foot back. Knee down, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps all the way forward. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Left foot steps all the way back. Knee down. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps forward. Left knee down. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold right foot back. Deep inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower, squeeze the core. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. 
Left foot forward, right knee down, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, left foot back, knee down, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower, take your time. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps through, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Great job, you guys, keep it up. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Right foot back, knee down, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left foot through. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Left foot back. Knee down. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps through. Inhale. Exhale, fold. You should have a nice sweat going. Inhale, rise. Last time through. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, right foot back, knee down, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left foot steps through, right knee down, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Left foot back, knee down, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower, take your time. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Through, inhale. Exhale, step all the way forward. Forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, heart center. Release your hands down by your side. Close your eyes. Big toes are to touch. Feel the body now compared to when we started class. Notice how you feel. Everything should be turned on. Your body should be warm. Your blood should be pumping. Maybe a light sweat. In my opinion, that is the perfect way to warm up the body for anything. So whether you surf, you play tennis, you play soccer, whatever you're gonna do that day before you get on a bike, maybe wake up in the morning, it's a great way to start. Good, all right, let's go ahead and step long ways on our mat. We're gonna bring the feet as far apart um, as comfortable. I don't want you to go too far, but I also don't want you to be too narrow. So find a good space here. So maybe if you bring your arms out, your ankles should be underneath your wrists. So it's probably kind of hard to tell on yourself, but um, you want your toes slightly turned in towards one another. So you want the, the outside edges of your feet to be parallel with the short edge of your mat, okay? So we're gonna take a deep inhale, lift your chest, 
And on your exhale, we're gonna fold forward. So slight bend in your knees here. So do not lock out the legs. Good. So you can put your fingertips on the mat, like I said, slight bend in the knee, and then you can just gently pull the chest towards the thighs. Take a deep inhale, slow exhale. Inhale, come up halfway lift. I want you to really lengthen your spine. So think about pulling the spine, the vertebra apart from one another. And then with that length in your spine, I want you to fold over a little bit deeper. So again, bend your knees as much as you need to here. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. So don't let gravity pull your shoulders towards the floor. Actively pull the shoulders away from the ears. Let the head hang. Deep breaths. Let it go. Inhale, come up halfway. We're gonna walk our arms forward until you come to a wide-legged plank, okay? So you should be in a plank right now, but your feet are really wide. Squeeze the core. Good, and then we're gonna drop down for one push-up. And then you're gonna walk your hands all the way back. Great job. Let's try that one more time. So you're gonna come up halfway, plant your palms. You're gonna start to walk them out. Take your time, squeeze your core as you're doing this. You're gonna lower down halfway for one push up, press back up, and then start to walk your hands back to your wide legged forward fold. And then bend a little bit deeper. Slight bend in the knee, micro bend. Then when you're ready, bring your hands to your hips, bend your knees a lot, and with a flat back, come all the way up. Good, turn your right toes towards the top of your mat. So right toes, turn, bending into the right knee, opening up to warrior two. Good. So this is a great time to maybe look in your camera if you can see yourselves. You want your ankles and your wrists stacked on top of one another. So your wrists should be right over your ankles. That should show you that you're far enough apart. Good. Breathe. Bend one inch deeper into that front knee, get nice and deep. Breathe. Take a deep inhale, reverse your warrior back hand to back thigh. Keep that knee nice and bent. Drop this shoulder away from the ear. Fingertips rest lightly on the back leg. One more deep breath. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach that top arm. So instead of just having the arm up over your head, I want you to reach with this arm. Bend deep, drop the hips even lower. So bend deeper into your right leg, good. One more breath. Exhale, plant the palm, step your right foot all the way back, downward facing dog. Good, bend your knees, drive your tailbone up. Inhale, plank, let's move through your yoga push-up. Lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift the chest, push the floor away, lift the knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal out those legs. Deep inhale. Exhale, send your breath between your feet. Send it out. Good. Then when you're ready, take a deep inhale, and on your exhale, start to walk your hands back to your feet. Forward fold. Bend your knees, hands to your hips, and press through your heels. Sorry if you can see me. <laughs> Good, let's go ahead and send the feet back out. 
So try to get them nice and wide, turn the toes slightly in towards one another. This time you're gonna take your hands and interlace all 10 fingers behind your back. Draw the knuckles towards the floor, lift the chest. And on your exhale, slight bend in the knees, standing wide leg forward fold with a bind. Let those knuckles float over your head. Bend your knees more if you need to, that's okay. Breathe. Opening up here through the chest, through the hamstrings. One more deep breath here. Holding a little deeper if you can. And then slowly releasing your hands to the floor. Inhale, coming up halfway as you lengthen the spine. So just like a halfway lift in our forward fold. And then start to walk the hands forward to a wide leg and plank. This time we're going to do two push-ups. So if you need to drop to your knees, you can do that. Try to stay on your toes. Lower one, two, and then press all the way back nice and slow. Walk those hands. Good. Really, really good. Bring your hands to your hips, bend your knees, bring your back really flat, and then start to come up with a flat back. Let's turn your left toes out this time. Warrior two on the left. So again, your wrists should be right over your ankles. Bend deep into that front knee. So take a look at yourself in your camera. Is your knee coming past your ankle? We don't want that. You want your ankle directly underneath your knee. And then turn your shoulders so that you're parallel with the wall in front of you, the wall behind you. Good. One more deep breath. Bend a little bit deeper into that front knee. Drop those hips. Great job, you guys. Make sure your knee's not coming past your front ankle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Reach, 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 back hand to back thigh. You should feel a massive opening through the front of the body. Open, open. Breathe deeply so you feel your ribs deep in your stretch. One more deep breath here. Exhale, extended side angle. Front elbow, slide the front knee. Now, if your hips are up here, bend your front knee and drop those hips. Breathe. Nice job, you guys. One more deep breath here. Exhale, plant the palms, tuck the back, or excuse me, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, move through your yoga push up nice and slow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job. Paddle out those legs, one heel down, then the other. Inhale, your right leg high. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Good. Open that hip, let it drop behind you. And then come back to a three-legged down dog. Deep inhale, look forward, exhale, step that right foot through, holding here. Good. One more deep breath. Take an inhale. Exhale, place your left hand to the inside of your right foot. You're gonna twist so your right arm comes up and over. And then I want you to press back through your left heel. So if you're pushing forward, press back. And then twist your shoulders. So left hand on the inside of the right foot. Good. One more breath. Exhale, plant the palms. Inhale, so your all 10 toes are facing forward. Inhale, high lunge. Woo, got to find my balance. Inhale, high lunge. 
You should feel a really deep opening through the front of the left hip. Good. We're gonna drop the back knee. We're gonna go five times. Okay, here we go. One, inhale, exhale, lower. Two, three, four, five, and stay up. And then we're gonna fly our airplane. You ready? Take a deep inhale. We're gonna come forward on this front leg. Exhale, airplane. Arms come behind you. Bend into that right knee if you need to. Try to bring your body in the shape of a T. If you can stay on your feet. Good, lift your chest, use all the muscles. Remember Cobra. Think about Cobra when you lift the chest. One more deep breath. Get ready to land your airplane. Step really far back. Nice job. Inhale, bring your hands to heart center. Exhale, you're gonna come forward and then you're gonna bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. And then you're gonna press your palms together to deepen your twist. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If you want, you can wrap the hands around. Might be a little advanced for some of you, but maybe you can clasp the arms underneath each other. So the right arm comes around all the way under. It's up to you. You don't have to. Stay here. Just keep twisting. One more breath. Exhale, plant the palms. Downward facing dog. Woo. Shake out that leg if you need to. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, move through your push up, lower halfway down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job. Inhale, left leg high this time. Bend that knee, open up that hip. Breathe. Maybe circle out that ankle. And then come back through three-legged down dog. Take an inhale. Exhale, send that left leg all the way through. Stay here for one breath, drop that right hip. So again, if you're up here, your goal is to bend into that front knee, dropping that right hip towards the mat. Your right hand goes to the inside of your left foot. And as you exhale, twist. So press into that right hand, press into the ground. It'll rotate the shoulders on top of one another. Breathe. One more breath, deep inhale, exhale, fingertips come down, get ready to come on up, inhale, high lunge, breathe, great job you guys, nice strong back leg, all 10 toes facing forward. Let's drop that right knee, we're gonna go five times, take a deep inhale, exhale, drop, tap, Two, three, four, and five. Here we go. Hands to heart center. Take a deep inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, you're going to lean forward. This time you're going to bring your right elbow to the outside of your left leg. Whoop. Having trouble balancing today. Twist the arm or press the palms together. Press your elbow into your knee. Twist, twist, twist. Maybe take your gaze over your back left shoulder. If you went for the wrap on the other side, go for it here. One more deep breath and plant the palms. Down dog, shake that leg out. Send your breath between your feet. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Nice job, guys. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, send your breath out. So we're gonna work on, if you wanna come down to your knees for a second, take a quick break, towel off. I'm just gonna walk you through some donkey kicks. I don't know if we've done these before, have we? I can't remember. But basically the wide-legged forward fold, and then what we're gonna do now is the donkey kicks. Eventually, these are some things that you can do to prepare yourself to go up into an inversion, a headstand, a handstand. We won't be doing that today, but um, they're also really good for the core. So what you're gonna do, downward facing dog, you're gonna start with one leg, and you're just gonna straighten that leg, and you're gonna throw it up and over. And you're just gonna keep working on this. Okay, so we're gonna go 10 on each leg. Okay, you guys ready? So try to hop off that opposite leg, try to get some air. You'd have to jump really hard to throw yourself over. So right leg, 10 on each. Nice job, take your time, make them good. Nice. Nice job, you guys, push into those hands. Push, good, once you've done 10 on one leg, I want you to try the other leg, good Emmy. Good. And you might notice that one leg's easier than the other. So straighten that leg and think about engaging and sending that leg up and over. And if you know how to do a handstand, go for it. Do the best you can, 10 on each. You should be breathing. Did you do 10? 10 on each, woohoo, nice job you guys. I think we got a few more, a few more there, all right. Great job. Since you're on your knees, let's go ahead, pull the knees together, forehead to the knees, reach back, cup your heels, pull your forehead towards your knees, round through the spine. Breathe, one more breath. Inhale, come on up. One arm over, reach through that side body. It should feel really good. Inhale, center, and switch over to the other side. Good, inhale, come back through center, and downward facing dog. Nice job, guys, pedal it out. Pedal it out. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step your right leg through. We're gonna come back into warrior two, so spin your back heel down. Good, bending into that front knee. Inhale, reverse your warrior, back hand to back thigh, opening up through that side body. Exhale, extended side angle. Drop those hips. Deep breath. Now I want you to take your left hand, put it on the inside of your right foot and then twist over to the right. Exhale, come back to extended side angle. Deep inhale. Exhale, you're gonna swing the left arm in front and then you're gonna turn all 10 toes. Good, so you're back in your wide-legged forward fold. Now what I want you to do here is, you're probably not even gonna be able to get your feet off the ground, but I want you to practice on lifting 
the hips up over the head. So I want you to pretend like you're gonna push your hips, push through your hands and lift your hips. So even if you have to come on your toes, you're gonna feel this in your core. Pretend like you're swinging your legs up and you're gonna come into a handstand. So push, try to lift the feet off the floor. Let's do it four more times. One. Push into the hand, squeeze the core. Two, three, four. Great job. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen the spine. Walk the hands forward. Yoga push up. And press all the way back. Forward fold. Okay, so we're gonna bend in, so if you need to walk the right foot in, we're gonna bend into that right knee and come up on that toe. You can come on up to that left heel if you want, or you can try to balance here. Breathe, 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 breathe. Maybe you can try to glue that heel down. I can't, I gotta stay on my toe. <laughs> Good, one more breath. Slowly plant the palms, come on back up. Let's switch it over to the other side. Maybe you wanna balance here. Lift the chest opening up through the inside of that right leg. Try to glue the bottom of the foot down. One more deep breath and slowly come on back up. And we're gonna walk the hands over so you're gonna frame the front foot and then downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, move through your push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high this time. Exhale, step it all the way through. Inhale, warrior two. Reach, bend into that front knee. Pull that left knee open so you can look down. See your big left toe. Inhale, reverse your warrior. One more deep breath. Exhale, extended side angle. Hopefully you guys can realize that we're really getting into the hips today. Really getting into that core. Now we're gonna take the right hand, place it on the inside. You're gonna spin to the toes of the back foot and then you're gonna rotate. Left arm up, left foot forward. So you're rotating, gaze up towards that hand if that feels good. If not, just gaze forward. One more deep breath here. And then we're gonna come back to extended side angle right and you're going to sweep the arm in front of the face i'm going to rotate coming into your wide leg forward fold you guys should be really open in the back of those legs by now inhale halfway lift flat spine walking forward get those hips nice and low Lower halfway down, and we're gonna do it two times. One, two, press back. Really good job. Really, really good job. And let's start, we're gonna come over to the left, drop those hips. Try to glue the toe down and then lift the toes up. Sink into that leg. We're gonna glue the toe down nice and slow. 
point that toe and then point the toes up. And if you can do that while you're balancing, kudos to you, good balance. Lift the chest one more time, toes down, toes up. And then slowly plant the palms, scoot on over. Let's switch it out so your toes down. Find your balance where you're comfortable. And then we're gonna lift the toes. You're pulling the pinky toe open up as wide as you can and then bring the toes back down or the big toe. Rotate that toe open. Now open up as much as you can to where it feels comfortable or you've reached your, your edge, your point and then slowly come back down. Really getting range of motion in those hips, really isolating. Good, slowly drop the toe down. We're gonna do that one more time. Lift your chest. And if you're down here, that's okay. And then drop those toes. Slowly come on back up, left toe, rotate, frame that front foot, downward facing dog. Move through your yoga push up, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, child's pose. Sink those hips back, knees are wide. Let your chest, your forehead, everything just fall in between the knees. Take a deep inhale. Feel your ribs fan in all directions of the room. Nice job, you guys. Excellent job. Taking two more deep breaths. Feel the barrel of your body fall between the knees. And when you're ready, slowly coming back up. Let's go ahead and take a seat, work on a little bit of core work, and then we're gonna work on crow pose, your favorite. All right, let's come on back. So the hands are gonna come behind the thighs. Now, if you're comfortable here, stay here. If you wanna take it a little bit further, you can reach the arms by the legs. And then we're just gonna tap, tap. Squeeze that core nice and slow and controlled. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Fold forward. Get into those hips. Just sitting crisscross applesauce, fold forward. Make sure your sits bones are grounded. Don't let the lift, the hips lift. And then slowly come on back up. Switch out those legs, cross the other way. Exhale, fold forward. We're used to crossing our legs one direction. It, Always feels a little awkward going the other way. I definitely feel more tightness in this hip. Then slowly come back up. Let's come on to all fours. And then coming into plank pose. So holding here, we're gonna tap your right knee, then your left. So your hips are nice and flat, right, left, right, left. Try not to move your body. You're just dropping those knees. So if you notice your hips are going up and down, up and down, try to be very still, drop, good. Push the floor away from you, keep going. We're gonna go 10 more, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Down dog, send your hips back. Good. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower halfway down, push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, jump to the outside of your hands, bend your knees, take a deep inhale, look forward, exhale, jump. Drop those hips down. Press your elbows into your knees and then lift your chest, sit up really tall. Good, heels are in, toes are out. Nice job, guys. So really quick, I want you to, before we get into crow, I want you to take your right arm. So right arm, you're gonna reach it in front of your right knee. You're gonna take your left arm, reach behind and grab fingertips. So you're reaching around your front knee, you're bending your elbow back, and then you're gonna reach for the left hand. And if you can't do it, that's okay. Just try to maybe get that front arm in front with that right arm wrapped around the front of the shin and then let go, come back through center. Let's try your left arm reaches in front of your left leg. So you gotta kind of get down, bend it around, right arm comes back, reaches for those hands. I'll show you what it looks like behind. If that helps from that view, you're just lifting your chest, twisting, slowly releasing, hands down, hips up. Good, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, arms reach all the way up. Hands to heart center. You guys ready for crow? Let's do it. Big starfish hands. Okay, about six to eight inches in front of your feet. You're gonna bend your elbows back, lift up onto the tippy toes, put your knees in your armpits, look forward, start to shift your weight, squeeze your core, and then when you're ready, Start to lift the feet. And if you can't lift the feet, that's okay. Do the best you can. Dig your fingertips into the mat and they'll act as little breaks. So if you feel like you're gonna fall forward, dig your fingertips. Look forward, look forward. Don't look at your feet, you're gonna fall. <laughs> look forward, look as far forward as you can and just start to get that balance in your hands. Maybe you wanna try lifting one leg and then the other. This is more about balance than it is strength. So remember, this is all in the fingertips. Dig your fingertips into the mat. Don't look at your feet. Let's see. You can do it. Yeah, sailor, woo -hoo. Nice, great job, you guys. Some of you have got this. Nice, yes. You guys are killing it. This is awesome. <laughs> nice job, you guys. Keep working, you'll get this. This is always something you can play with. Always something you can play with. All right, let's take a break. Come down to your knees, child's pose. Send your hips back. This time, if you'd like, maybe turn a cheek, reach the arms or the shoulders. Just a little walk on the floor. Feel a gentle stretch on the upper spine. Maybe close your eyes as we start to wind down here. 
And if you've turned your head, go ahead and pick it up and turn it the other way just to have that balance. Everything we do on one side, we do on the other. Deep breath in through the nose. And slow breath out through the nose. And slowly plant the palms. Let's go ahead and roll all the way onto your backs. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Rocking side to side. Massaging that low back into the mat. Maybe some nice big circles. This should feel really good. And then let's pull your right knee in, extend your left leg as long as you can. Hug that knee in, take a deep inhale, and on your exhale, gently guide that right knee over to the left side of your body. Your arms come out to a T. Try to relax that right shoulder, glue it all the way down, and then close your eyes. Close your eyes and just feel your body be, just let it go. There should be no effort here. Just rest, relax. Focus on your breath. <sighs> your body naturally relaxes when you exhale. One more deep breath. And slowly coming back through center, maybe centering your hips back on your mat and then draw your knees in towards your chest once more. Little circles, extend your right leg long, pull that left knee in, take a deep inhale, exhale gently, guide that knee over, arms come out and open. So if your left shoulder is lifted, glue the left shoulder down. Take your gaze over towards that left hand for a full spinal twist. Deep breaths into the belly, close your eyes. Just allow yourself this time to let go. Working so hard today. You guys should be so proud of yourselves putting in this hard work. Two more deep breaths. And slowly coming back through center. Centering your hips back on your mat bringing the bottoms of your feet together, opening up, maybe leaving your arms where they are. If you're feeling lazy, maybe putting your left hand on your heart, right hand on your belly, closing your eyes. And just taking a mental scan of your body, noticing how you're feeling now compared to when we began class. Allow your belly to fill up like a balloon. Letting all your hard work soak in. We'll take just a few more breaths here. Letting yourself go. And when you're ready, slowly bringing your hands to the outside of your knees and closing them like a book. Let's bring your feet 
as wide as your mat or more. Hands are gonna come down by the side and you're just gonna windshield wiper the legs. So if you're bringing your legs over to the left, I want you to think about pressing the inside of the right knee to the ground. Like you're almost trying to press the right knee down. And then slowly switch, coming over to the left. Take your time. All of these movements should be really slow. Yoga is not about fast, choppy movements. About being slow and controlled, really trying to press the inside of that left knee down. And if it feels good to move through this and just keep the legs moving, you can do that too. Yoga is so personal, so if this, whatever feels good to you, go for it. Just a few more windshield wiper those legs. Getting into those hip joints. Keeping mobility in those hips. Soccer players can get really, really tight, especially in the hips. So that's why we put so much emphasis into that area. And slowly coming back up through center. Hug your knees in towards your forehead, forehead to knees. Roll yourself into the teeny tiniest ball, giving yourself some love. And on your exhale, releasing all four limbs to the mat. If you have a t-shirt or a towel or something to lay over your eyes, I really want you to take a little bit extra time today in Shavasana, in your final resting pose. And like I said before, this is an actual posture in yoga. It is not made up, it's for real. And usually Shavasana is held for 10 minutes. So that's why a lot of times I give you guys the option to stay here even after we end class. Shavasana is, uh, we call it corpse pose. So do just that. You're not supposed to do anything, obviously breathing, but that is involuntary. So all of your voluntary movements should stop. Close your eyes. Just start to relax, releasing through the feet, relaxing the knees releasing your hips, softening through the belly and the ribs, relaxing the shoulders, finding yourself very still, closing your eyes and just focusing on your breath. Let your breathing become really soft and easy. Let go for these next few minutes.
And slowly begin to deepen your breath. And start to bring some movement back into your fingers and your toes. Maybe rolling your wrists and your ankles. Bending your knees and planting your feet. When you're ready, rolling off to your favorite side for a few breaths. When you're ready, press yourself up to an easy seated position. Bring your hands to heart center as we close out. Honor and respect your body. It is the most amazing thing you will ever own. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Great job.